The Biden administration is proposing a new plan to forgive student loan debt after the Supreme Court struck down the previous plan in June. Now the plan targets those that fall in four specified categories. Ho Jung Ru talked to experts to learn more about the proposal. Ho Jung. Dave and Courtney, in June, Biden's pandemic relief debt relief plan was struck down by the Supreme Court, where the opposing Republican led state and conservatives said this was a quote unquote unlawful attempt under the guise of the pandemic. Now the Biden administration is back with a new plan to help the borrowers that are suffering from the student loan debt. The new proposal released by the Education Department states that borrowers who have federal student loans that are more than the original amount have entered repayment 25 years ago or more with loans for career training programs and who didn't apply for other eligible repayment plans that could have canceled out the debt fall under the eligible categories. Dr. John Bishop says those who might make decisions based on the new student debt relief plan should consider some aspects of the consequences. People who make a decision to take on debt believing that it's going to be canceled in the future and then in, when the policy, when the president changes or the policy changes, they're stuck when the music stops. Julie Porman, who is now the ECU Student Financial Aid Director, says she paid off her student loans that accumulated significantly from the original amount and the repayment took about 25 years. She says the proposal may change the original expectations of taking out student loan. Student loans are both an opportunity and an obligation, right? There are many of us who would not have gone to college without a student loan. But once you sign that promissory note and you accept those funds, you have an obligation to, one, use them as they are intended, which is to pay for educational expenses, and two, repay the loan. The Biden administration is also considering a fifth eligible category for those who are experiencing financial hardships that is not currently covered by the current student loan system. Reporting live in Greenville, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. All right, thanks, Ho Jung. And Education Secretary Mar Miguel Cardona stated that this aid would build up to $127 billion in loan forgiveness and is approved for 3.6 million borrowers. The proposal is not expected to be finalized until next year and could face legal challenges as well.